I right, suffer the math. Easy. So we're going to discuss some further examples on derivatives, but now look at uh, product rule for derivatives and do examples on that. Basically, to recap on the product rule, you should make sure to watch video link below. I've done the proof on it, etc. On on the product rule, but basically. If f and g are differentiable, you'll have basically a function like, let's say, y equals f of x times g of x. And differential means you could just take the derivative exists for both of them at whatever interval you're doing derivative at. Uh, basically, um, it, the derivative is going to be equal to or y prime dy over dx just equals to the derivative of f of x times g of x plus f of x times the derivative of g of x. Or you could write it down like this, y prime equals f prime times g plus f times g prime. And these are the two examples I'm going to go over. The first example states if f of x equals x times e of x, find f prime of x. Okay, so now for the first example, now we have uh, the f could be x and then the g could be basically e of x right here. So we have one function here and one function here. So we just take the derivative of the first one. So then uh, f prime of x, if we're taking the derivative, it's going to be equal to derivative of this one right first right here. So derivative of x is just 1 times it by, well, e of x. And then now we just now we have the derivative of this one. But we first put this here. So we have an x and then times it by the derivative of this, which is just going to be, well, e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. You can see more on this in a video link below on exponential functions and their derivatives and the number e, etc. So basically, this is our answer. We can simplify it a bit further by taking the ex out of so ex out of there, 1 plus x. So that's quick and easy. So that's that's our uh, derivative right there. So now if we look at example 2, it states if f of x equals to square root of x times g of x, where g of 4 is equal to 2 and g prime of 4 is equal to 3, find f prime of 4 right here. So this example is showing that you don't actually need to know the function here. All you need to know is the values at whatever x value if you're if you're just finding it at this x value. So for example, I'll just write this down. So yeah, for example, for example, I just wrote it down right here. Now we can just take the derivative of this. So we now we don't need to actually know this g of x. So we can just write it as g prime of x once we take the derivative and just leave g of x there. So the derivative, same thing as before. We have two functions, the square root of x, and this is another function. So now we take the derivative of the first function here of square root of x. Remember, this square root of x is, is uh, I'll just write it down here, square root of x equal to, well, x 1 over 2. And if you're taking a derivative using power rule, you bring this down, then you minus this by, uh, by 1. You can see that in the video link below on derivatives of power functions. So basically, in this case, we're going to have now, it's going to be 1 over 2 times square root, oh, I'll just write this down right here, uh, d x 1 over 2 of dx equals 2. 1 over 2 x, then you subtract the top by by 1 or 2 over 2, same thing as that, just so it's easier. And then it's going to be basically 1 over 2 x negative 1 over 2 or 1 over 2 square root of x at the bottom right here. This is a negative, you put it at the bottom, then we have that. So you can learn more about this in the video links below. Let's put this in bracket. So this is going to be, well, square root x right there at the bottom. And now times it by g of x. Now plus square root of x. So now we put this back in here. And then take derivative of this one. We don't need to know what it is. We just write derivative or g prime of x. So now we can just plug in these values. g of 4 is 2 and g prime of 4 is, uh, is 3. So right now if you want to find out what f prime of 4 is, we just plug that in. So this is going to be now 1 over 2 times square root of 4 times it by g of 4 plus square root of 4 times it by g prime of 4. And then now we could just solve these ones. It's going to be 1 over 2. Uh, the square root of 4 is just 2. So we have 1 over 2 times 2 or 1 over 4 times it by g of 4 like, like before. This, this is a 2 and the other one's a 3. So we scroll down here. So now it's going to be times it by 2. Now plus the square root of 4 is a 2, times it by g prime of 4 is a 3. So this is going to be, well, 2 over 4, or equals to 1 over 2, and this is going to be, well, 2 times 3 is 6, and this is equals to, well, 
So there is our answer. So the derivative at x equals 4 is 6.5. And yeah, this, well, that's all for today. If you learn from these examples, make sure you watch the video links below on us uh, on related info, uh, related videos on these uh, concepts I went over. And anyways, I never like always. You could always download the exa these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And hopefully you enjoyed. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.